Look at the size of this one. That is huge. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the southern Thailand province of Nakhon Si Tamarat in Pak Panang. And today we have the special opportunity. This is the Nipa palm tree. And we have this special opportunity. We're gonna harvest some of the fruit that comes in this amazing spiky ball. Wow, it's extremely unique. And we're gonna eat it. They're gonna cook a curry, I believe, from the fruit, from the young fruit, uh, which is gonna be incredible to see and to taste. And then I think they also might make a snack, which is made with the, the fruit, but then also wrapped in the leaves. So that's the plan for today. I'm very excited to learn more about the fruit from the Nipa palm tree. So we met up with uncle. He just arrived and he immediately sprang into action. Started like going straight for the the big patch of Nipa palm trees. And you can sense his like passion and his expertise. Uh, and this is a young cluster. This is going to be the one to. Uh, any any time gang, Okay, this is for the. Ah, this is for the the curry, the young, the young one, the young fruit. Oh, I need time to get in there. Okay. I want to cut my guy. My guy, come back. Okay. 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 Extremely strong and very feels like you could. I mean, you can do a lot of things. It's very important. For, uh, they're gonna roast the snack in the leaves, but also I think you can do a lot of things, a lot of crafts with them. You can. Uh, weave with them. You can uh, do all sorts of things with the leaves. Roofing material. He measured out the, the size of the grill. So that day they're going to roast for the snack. You could just feel, these are amazing. They're, they could feel how durable they could be. The whole roofing here is all made from the, the leaves of the, of the Nipa palm tree. How cool, how cool is this? Wow, that's pretty heavy. That could, you could swing with this thing. That is amazing. It's just a huge cluster and it is kind of sharp too, even the pieces, uh, but just the way it grows, that's incredible. And this is just a young one, very small, like half the size of one of the older ones. Another unique and amazing fruit. This is a whole community center, so some of the elders and some of the aunties from the community have come to help out, have come to hang out too. And uncle is, he is so energetic. He's just doing things at a rapid pace. They offer a whole educational platform here where they teach the community and even uh, groups come here to learn about the Nipa palm tree and the uses of it. Another thing to note about the Nipa palm tree is that it grows kind of in a wetland uh, in similar areas as mangroves. And so this area is known for mangroves. It's kind of a wetland area. นี่ห้าสิบตีนี่หนึ่งสองสามสี่ห้าเก้าสิบสิบเอ็ดสิบสองวันละมื้อตีวันเว้นวันต้องตีกี่วันถึงจะตัดได้อะคะปกครบหก
โอเคครับมาเคี่ยมกันน้ำหวานบูดน้ำหวานเปรี้ยวอันนี้มันจะได้ไม่เสียใช่ไหมคะครับหนึ่งคืนห้ามุงยินในปาดสิทธิ์กลับไปบ้านนอนนอนพอลูกเช้าห้ามุงเช้าไม่ตีนผ่าทับมาเขาเรียกว่ามาล้างหน้าตาแล้วก็ไปกินข้าวแล้วก็สิบโมงก็กลับมาสิบโมงเก็บเก็บหมดเลยทีนี้ทั้งไร่ทั้งไร่เลยเอาไปต้มแล้วต้มสิบห้านาทีเป็นน้ำน้ำหวานพร้อมดื่มต้มไปอีกสองชั่วโมงครึ่งเป็นน้ำพึ่งใส่ดับสามชั่วโมงทำน้ำตาลปึกน้ำตาลเกล็ด But the process is just very similar to other tapping of palm trees uh, from coconut trees to especially uh, famous is the Palmyra palm where they do a similar process to get the sap uh, and then boil it down into either a uh, sugar or a syrup or sometimes vinegar or an alcohol from that that sap that juice that comes out of the palm. Fruits and vegetables and plants and trees, they're just, it's just never ending possibilities of learning around the world. And never ceases to amaze me just the variety, the diversity, the possibilities of so many different things. And this is yet again another example of something that's truly amazing and magnificent and unbelievably useful in so many ways. That is. Huge. Burger. Burger. Think you can make it. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Now that is a cool coconut scraper to get out and grate out all that fresh meat. And he just made swift work of that coconut, just cleaned it out perfectly. Oh man, that's a skill that almost everyone has in this area. เป็นกันเนี่ยวเครื่องกิโลใส่เข้าไปทั้งทั้งพึ่งจากซึ่งน้ำพึ่งคือจำแจกพึ่งจากเนี่ยน้ำน้ำตาลน้ำตาลจาก
I've eaten Kanom Jack, the snack, before. It's available all over Thailand, uh, but I've never seen the harvesting, I've never seen the process. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. And the little fruits are like in pieces, but the actual fruit would be inside of that little piece. But this is too young to even have developed, and I think it's kind of like a jelly-ish type of fruit. It's too young to have developed the fruit, so what she's doing is she's taking the pieces, she slices off the, off the bottom of that, or the top, or the bottom, uh, which is really young, and that is, I think that's the edible part. I think that's the part that's going in the, the curry. It almost looks like a, yeah, like a bamboo shoot. The husk, almost. And you can immediately smell that aroma coming out of the leaves. Uh, similar to grilling banana leaf and that just like fresh roasted green aroma comes out of it. Uh, you can also really smell the sugar starting to like heat up and sizzle with that coconut. The steam is coming out. It smells incredible. Like a caramel aroma is being, a smoky caramel aroma is erupting out of these snacks. And that's exactly what you want. Well, these are long ones, no? Sometimes they make them like half size. These are super sized but you want that crunchiness from the caramelized sugar in there. And that texture from the sticky rice, oh, you can feel it's kind of sticky and it's so fragrant. <laughs> oh, really hot. Mm. Oh, wow. There's no other added sugar. It's only the pure nipa palm sugar, which has more of a, a much more subtle sweetness, so much more natural tasting, not, a, not that sharp, pounding sweetness that hits your tongue, but it's so subtle, caramel. It's kind of like a slow sweetness. And then the coconut from the fresh, fresh shredded coconut, you can feel the full texture of the coconut. It's so fragrant, it gives it that texture, that crispness, and then it all wrapped up in that sticky rice kind of elasticity. I've had this before, but this is the freshest. This is, this is the best for sure. Wow. The sap of the palm tree, they're actually calling it honey. The honey of the tree, but it's actually the sap. Uh, it's not honey. Mm, it does almost taste like honey. And it's like naturally salty too. Naturally salty. Maybe from the brackish, uh, brackish water, a mix of salt and fresh water, that gives it a saltiness. That's incredible. Now to the curry station, and first she's gonna just uh, luak, flash blanch, flash boil the. They almost look like like wood chips. Fresh coconut milk. She has a whole chicken here, as well as the the nipa palm. Tops, uh, which is all going to go into the curry, and they're going to make a, a curry, a southern Thai curry called Geng Kua.
เลบอยิมบัตเลยนะหอมมากหอมพริกไทย Into the coconut milk goes the curry paste, which is a combination you can see turmeric in there, but you can really smell and just the vibrancy, the potency of black pepper in there and shrimp paste. She added in like equal amounts of curry paste and shrimp paste, lots of shrimp paste, which is going to give it massive umami flavor. Yeah. <laughs> ก้าวเนี่ยมีก้าวเล่นขนมเครื่องแกงกะพีกับกับน้ำผึ้งกับยาส่วนประกอบสัดแกงด้วยธรรมชาติธรรมชาติครับธรรมชาติธรรมชาติมากครับ<laughs> so all of us are coming around, getting bowls of rice, and just adding some of the curry to our plates of rice, and all of us are eating way more than the chicken. Chicken, I'm more interested in the pieces of the the fruit. Put some of this onto my rice. Maybe a few pieces of chicken to all oh, the heart. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Everyone is kind of sitting around. Got a bowl. No more talking. Everybody is happy eating. Silence. This is the moment I've been waiting for this entire day. Oh wow! Oh, that is just a burst of flavor. Okay, first of all, the genkuo, which is heavy on the black pepper, chilies, turmeric, punch of salty umami from the uh, the shrimp paste, and then you get to those pieces of the lukjak. It's kind of similar to very mature, kind of tougher bamboo shoots. It doesn't have that same snappiness, but it, maybe it's more spongy. It kind of like absorbs the coconut milk, that flavor. It almost tastes like meat, actually. Like it almost has like a, a meatiness to it. Oh, that's hearty. That's what a food. What a way to use that young fruit like that. This is definitely a g a i b a n to a, a local free range kind of chicken. Maybe add a little more coconut milk curry to that top of that. Yes. Mm. Oh. Wow. It's just stunning. Unbelievable. The way the woodiness of it just absorbs all of that curry, that spice, that coconut milk. And next up. Oftentimes for Southern Thai, well, always for a Southern Thai meal, there's something called pak na, which is the vegetables that you get fresh, uh, raw vegetables that you get with always curry. And here, they have it in a whole bucket. You know, you just grab some. Oh, I recognize this one. This one is really good. And these are just like the vegetables that you pick in the the back of your yard, usually organic, fresh, from your trees. Whatever seasonal, whatever is on hand, you just need like some good fresh vegetables to contrast the flavor of the richness and the spice of the curries. Okay, here's the heart. There we go. Oh, wow. 
Look at that. The sponginess of the heart, the bounciness of it. As I continue eating and thinking about this dish, this incredible dish, like it looks, they do look like wood chips. I mean, they kind of, they are wood chips, but literally it almost has the texture and taste of chicken breast. It, it kind of could like, you could definitely substitute it as chicken, I think. It could also be compared maybe to if you've had young jackfruit, a young jackfruit curry. What a unique delicacy. What a single meal dish wonder. Mm. Oh, that aroma is incredible. I just pull out the toothpicks. Thank you, Micah. Oh yeah, and by the way, look at what they, they also made from the young leaves. They made some toys for Micah. What is this one? No, a velvet worm. A velvet worm. Yeah. Or an eel. A velvet worm or an eel? A velvet worm. A velvet worm. And then just unwrap the gift. The gift of Nippa Palm gift. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. I love the mellow sweetness of it. And just that crunch of the coconut. It was really good when it was hot right off the grill, but it's even kind of better now that it's cooled because it kind of gets crunchier. They're good either way. But well, that's just delicious. And a great way to end that spicy curry meal. Oh, right now it's starting to, to rain. Oh, do you want some of this? stuff online and they'll they'll ship it to you right so they have a little shop community store on the side here where they sell some of their products this is the the vinegar which I'm very excited about so they have vinegar and then they actually this is the pure pure sugar here of the so it's that same syrup that we had but just reduced down into pure granules dried we're buying a few things but they don't have much on stock here so we're gonna order from them online and send to some of our friends some of these products but I'm so happy so it's such an honor to be able to support such a grassroots uh, effort community that are preserving traditions and just better quality food and taste. This is the type of community effort that I love to support. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, When you come here, make sure you sign their book. Awesome hospitality food experience. Learning about the Nipa palm fruit. But really for me, the highlight, I'm a curry kind of guy. That curry was the highlight and totally unique and different. I, I really think that that could be, you could substitute that as chicken. It tasted like chicken breast. In the description box, I'll have their information in the description box. And you can even, if you're in Bangkok, if you're around Thailand, they'll ship you their products from around Thailand. Or you can come here, uh, arrange to come here when you're in Nakhon Sitamara. It's about, I think it was about an hour drive from the center of Nakhon Sitamara city. That was fun, educational, and I fully enjoyed it. And there are quite a lot of mosquitoes back here, so you gotta keep on moving. That's why I'm keep on, I'm, I'm, I'm moving. Uh, but anyway, thank you again to the community. Thank you to uncle and auntie for hosting us. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that way you'll immediately get not notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Nakonsi Tamarat. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.